Hey folks, David Creative Craft House to introduce to you the Arrow Tour Puzzle. Got the idea from this from uh, one of Martin Gardner's books. In fact, it, I've seen it in two of his books. Uh, and he refers to it as the uh, Arrow Tour and credits it to an, a British engineer, um, Brian Barwell, who introduced it in the Journal of Recreational Mathematics in 1969, introduced the math concept behind it. As far as I know, it's never been made into a uh, physical puzzle before. But for those of you who like uh, highly analytical puzzles, uh, as opposed to highly spatial puzzles, uh, this is uh, really cool. And, and, and I'm kind of in that category, so I, I like this a lot. I've, I've tried to make this thing uh, particularly attractive and ergonomically uh, very comfortable. Uh, what we have got here is a, uh, is a board, and we have these 16 pieces uh, laying in the board. Uh, the pieces, of which there are three types, um, Give you a close up here. Uh, one has a red arrow with um, three dots and the number three on it, and there's another category here with a yellow arrow and the two, and one of the blues with the one. Uh, the object of this puzzle is to take these pieces out, and when you do that, you have this nice space board with this this grid that I cut and glued into here, in which the pieces will fit uh, fit nicely. And, and the object is to take the pieces and create a closed loop path. That is, uh, put a piece somewhere uh, on the board, and now uh, the next plate position that you must place a piece in would be according to what this piece is. And it, it says move three in that direction. So the next piece I must place, and it could be any one of the three pieces, must go one, two, three. It must be positioned here. All right. And, and so forth. Now I might, I'm might i going to have to move one, two, three and place another one here. And let's suppose I put the, the number two there, which means I've got to move one, two and place one here. And I might put another number two here, which means one, two, and so forth. And maybe I put a, a, put a, put a one here. So the next one would have to go here. And, and so forth. Your goal is to get them all in the board such that you create a path that uses all the spaces one time and ends up where you started. So if I started here, I must end up here. It's difficult. There are two possible solutions. Um, I include uh, both of them. I also include, um, uh, and this was from Martin's book, of course, there is a simpler uh, path you can try to, try to make using only seven of the pieces. And in fact, it's uh, three of the yellow, three of the red, and one of the blue. And see if you can create a closed loop path uh, finishing where you start um, using these seven pieces. And, and not as difficult, of course, but, but not, uh, not wildly easy. Um, and there are more than one solution. I've found a couple so far. So. Um, the, uh, the puzzle also comes um, in a nice base and cover. So here is the base, and uh, this is a, a cover, a nice beach um, here. And uh, the instructions for the puzzle are here, so I don't know what to do. And when the cover is on, uh, all the pieces are left uh, intact. Uh, so nice to put away or to travel with. The size of the puzzle is um, about 6 by 6 on the outside here. And these pieces are just, just under an inch square. I, I, I tried to, I, I, I used these squares instead of pegs, which I considered, because they just won't roll away. I mean, they're, you're just not going to lose them. And they're quite uh, comfortable to play with, take in and out. All right, uh, Arrow Tour, and I hope that's something uh, you can enjoy. Thank you.